Hey, what's up guys? Professional landscape photographer David Johnson here and in this video I want to show you how to get the perfect colors out of your photographs using the tools in Luminar 4. Let's jump into the screen. You can easily see we have tons of colors going on in this image and I've already brought the exposure up some to fix that so that we can really work on the colors that we have in this image. So we have yellows, oranges, blues, even reds. So let's dive into this and see. First thing I want to do is work on the temperature of this image. You know, cooler temperatures are going to be more blue tones and warmer temperatures are going to be more orange tones. Since this is fall and it's kind of a warm time of the year, I want to bring more warm tones to this. So it just kind of matches what the mood of your image actually is. And for this one, it's an orange tone. So I'm just gonna barely increase that. Tint is the same kind of thing. Tint is going to be, you know, balancing that white balance and getting the right colors and the foundation of temperature and tint. So I'm just gonna increase this to a little bit more of a magenta tint. And it's, it's just slight movements in this that are going to help you make the most impact to your images. Next thing I'm going to come down to my color tab and this is where you get the perfect colors. This use of this tool in Luminar 4 helps you match each and every color that's within your image so that you can really bring out the perfect color tones that you want and what you saw in the field. So First, I'm gonna increase my saturation just slightly here, and also I'm gonna increase my vibrance. So that just makes those colors pop out a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna come down here to advanced settings. The advanced settings are gonna split all of these colors up into individual sliders that we can use. So we have a hue of each color, a saturation, and a luminance of each color. Using these, we can split up and say, hey, what colors are in this image? How do I affect those each individually in the photograph? So we do have reds here. I'm just going to increase my saturation and luminance on those and just bring those up and make them pop out a little. We also have tons of orange going on. The hue in orange ranges from kind of a green hue all the way down to an orange hue. So I'm gonna make these a little bit more orange and get the colors right that we had in the field by decreasing that hue a little bit. And then I'm gonna increase my saturation on those oranges. Sometimes though, it pops a little bit too much and you have to dial back what you did with that saturation. And then lastly, I'm gonna make those jump out a little bit more by increasing the luminance of the orange tones and make those just a little bit more brighter than they were originally. Next, I'm gonna work on my yellows. Hue is the same thing here. I can increase this hue to green or down to yellow. I'm gonna push it more to the yellow side and keep the warm concept of this image going. And then I'm gonna increase my saturations on those and also increase the luminance on those as well. Just make those pop out a little bit more. Lastly, we do have some blue and kind of purple tones going on with the dead leaves down here. So I am gonna go to my blue and just gently bring those color tones up, purples as well, and make those pop a little bit more. So let's go to the before and after here and see exactly what we had in this image. First, it was dull, very dark, and we really warmed it up and brought out each of the individual colors. So when you use the advanced settings within the color tab of Luminar 4, you're able to split up your colors and perfect each one for what you saw it in the field and what you want the image to be based on your creative style and photography. This is how you use the color tool in Luminar 4 to get the perfect colors in your images and take your photos to the next level using Luminar 4.